Hey there. Your weapon is ready to go. Great. Thanks. You know, with a weapon like that... You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> and what have we decided, hmm? We're gonna kill it. You've got to kill him. By the way, what can I help you with? Come back.
never heard of a shade living with a machine. What's that about? Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. Found the entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Right. Let's head down. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Beats going the long way around. Come. Transform.
must defend my mission. You... You stupid machine! You killed my family! You took everything from me! Hey, come on. That's enough. <laughs> I did it! Now that this goddamn thing is dead, I can forage wherever I want! Just wait, you goddamn freak! Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons! Just leave it to me! Leave it all to me! <laughs> Look, we get it, okay? Really? Hatred and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. Revenge is a fool's errand. Yeah, I know. Popolis found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Learned anything new about the Shadow Lord's key, Popola? You know, I was just going to talk to you about that. You remember the Airy, right? That depressing shell of a village? Not so much anymore, it sounds like. I just got this letter from the village chief. Have a look. Sacrifice? Isn't that the name of one of the key fragments? That's right. I've been trading notes with leaders from every town in the land. You're amazing, Popola. Hmm. This entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. I'm afraid Grimoire Vice is correct. What do you mean? <sighs> the area has been shut off from the world for years. 
And now they've not only opened trade routes, but they freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. I agree. It seems rather unnatural. And dangerous. You're overthinking it. Besides, I don't care if it's dangerous. I won't get Yona back by just sitting around and waiting. If there are shades there. I'll just kill him and be done with it. Oh dear. Well, if that's the way you feel, I guess I won't stop you. Try speaking with the Chief when you get there. The area, huh? All right, let's go see the Chief. What a soul-crushing place. I cannot fathom that village setting up a mercantile. They must have truly opened their minds. Yeah, I have my doubts. Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaine? Home? The place is a shithole. Don't be so nervous, Kaine. We'll protect you. I got me taken care of. Worry about protecting yourself. again last night. from Popola's village. It's all over. We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. As cheerful as ever, it seems. You're the one who wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What the hell is going on here? It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Let us ask around. Someone must know something.
This village is finished. I'm scared. Some new items. Come back soon. Make sure you stop. My web Thanks. A letter, huh? Yeah, I think I heard something about that. So you know about the letter? Hmm. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Ah, which is it, man? Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kaine? You could say that. 
Ah, I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Every. Every last one. Everyone. Everyone. Beware, this man is a shade. Damn it, it's a trap. I figured as much. You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local welcoming party. Want some help? Kaine, the villagers are possessed. But not all of them. Some are still human, so be careful. by this lady. She's a shade. Kaine, you gotta get up! Emil, watch Kaine. I'll go clean up over there. All right. Down, oh, Bob! That hurts! What could those black swirls be?
A shade as well. That thing sucked up the villagers. No! If we keep this up, we're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen! It will take more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The first to waver is the first to die. I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. Shades! The sur- Rounding tentacles appear to deflect magic. Center! Please, hurry! 
Emil can handle this. We must circle behind the creature at once. Strike it in the eye. Escaping to the inner level. I'm coming. Gotta catch my breath. Careful, Emil. Won't help anyone if we lose you here. Damn it! You beat the hell out of that thing. How can it still move? Combined powers are beyond even my greatest suspicion. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed.
What have I done? I killed innocent people. I killed them all. But you saved us. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead. We owe you. But... But I... It's all right. <laughs> Best me off. Yeah. has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. This feels alarmingly familiar. Ah, I'm sure that couple is merely having another one of their inane spats. Let us do our utmost not to get dragged into it this time, hmm? I worked it out. Shop here more often. Thanks for coming. Things sure are. Ma'am, I think your child ate a poison berry. If you give him this antidote, he should recover. Oh, thank you. I'll have him take it right away. Glad to hear it. And perhaps remind him not to eat foodstuffs he finds on the ground.
Which job should I give you first? Got a job from Seafront if you aren't too busy. It's a guy. Looking for something? Look, just go ask him, alright? I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. After the kids she used to take care of by... I'm worried about you. You've been a different person since Yona was taken away. Thanks, but you don't have to worry on my account. Hey, you don't happen to know where my boyfriend is, do you? Sorry, lady. No idea. Right, of course you don't. Uh, see, my boyfriend just up and vanished five years ago. I keep waiting for him, but I have no idea where he went or if he's even... Hey, wait. You're that kid who does whatever people ask him to do, right? Well, people usually ask nicely. And I have no idea what your boyfriend looks like. Well, he always wears this flashy gold necklace, so maybe you can start there. And so we find ourselves off on a hunt for a man with a golden necklace. Not exactly the strongest of possible leads. Hey, you. You ever seen a treasure map before? A treasure map? Yeah, a treasure map. You know, a map that shows you where to find buried treasure. I'm collecting them. My lifelong dream is to one day roll naked in a pile of sweet, sweet treasure. That's an interesting dream. So that's why I'm looking for a new treasure map or two. If you find one, bring it on over to me, all right? Sure thing. I guess I should know where to look for a treasure map before telling the guy sure thing. One could hardly expect to stumble across such a thing lying on the ground. Perhaps we should look for a place where old documents are stored. Old documents? Say... Are you available to discuss a certain sensitive matter? What is it? People are saying a shade has managed to enter our village. I was hoping you could track it down. This isn't a very big place. Wouldn't we have seen it by now? I had my own doubts at first, but there have been too many witnesses for me to ignore this matter any longer. I saw a really scary monster. She saw it too? Apparently. I can't say for sure who's seen it or not. I saw the monster right around here. You did, huh? Can you tell me what the monster looked like? It was over at the river, and it was huge and scary. I didn't like it. Over by the river, huh? Let's go take a look. The foul tendrils of the shades have finally extended into this village. Fine. Oh sure, the guy with the necklace? I don't know where he is now. But I've heard some pretty sordid tales about him. Will it be that easy? I wonder. What do you mean? Would you be able to simply slaughter the people you lived amongst for so many years? Would you truly murder friends if you suspected them of being shades? I wouldn't have a choice. Jonas. Oh, sure. The guy with the neck. When the time comes, I pray you can follow through.
Hey, buddy. You know a place called the Lost Shrine? Yeah, I know it. Listen, I'm what's called a botanist. That means I study plants. This is all probably way over your head, but just bear with me, all right, buddy? Anyway, this Lost Shrine place supposedly contains a very rare tree, and I'm looking for someone to go there and borrow a piece of its root. What do you think? Come on, buddy. It's just one little piece of root. I'll do it. You have to stop calling me buddy. Oh god, it's over. My life is over. What's wrong? Oh, hey, I remember you. You're the ones who helped us out way back when. Seeing as we've come all this way, I suppose we had best ask. I had a fight with my husband, and he ran away from home. Mm-hmm, yes, yes. You may color me utterly flabbergasted. But it's all that idiot's fault. I was saving up a bunch of apples, and he went and ate ten of them. That's... actually sort of impressive. Well, sure, I, I may have lost my temper a little, but... I can't believe he just up and left. He's been gone for a week now, and it's... All right, all right. We'll help you find him. <laughs> really? And here we go again. Uh, shall we begin by asking around at the tavern like before? Oh, it's you. I've heard a great many stories about you. Making quite the name for yourself, hmm? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, no need to be so modest. After I'm listening. I need you to retrieve three crates of particular import from a ship that was wrecked at sea. This cargo has likely washed ashore on all the far-flung corners of the world, so it will be a task of some difficulty. Can I count on your assistance? Sure. Ah, excellent, excellent. Oh, and whatever you do, you must not unseal the cargo. Well, now I'm curious. Why can't I open it? I was shipping some rather unique products. If you were to see them, it might place me in something of a dilemma. Hey, it's your money. You don't want me to look? Fine. Hey, I know you. You're that kid who takes any job, no matter how weird or demeaning. Not really how I'd phrase it, but okay. I've got a merchant ship that needs some repairs. Think you can round up some materials for me? I need five logs, 20 deaded metal boards, and 10 stripped bolts. I'd ask if you're up for it, but I know you are. That hardly seems necessary. A trading business, huh? Do you some? That's five logs, 20 dented metal boards, and 10 stripped bolts. Thanks much. That's... F 